Lady Zedal, Fight Connect TV, and we're here backstage at Boxer in Liverpool. I'm delighted to be joined by Shakam Pittis. Shaq, first of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to speak to me. How are we feeling? I'm all good. Obviously, got it about losing and that, but um, it's boxing and it's such as such as life. I'll, you know, I win with dignity. I lose with dignity if that's the case. But I felt, as I say, it was a close fight. There's times I was at boxing him. There's times he done things good. But I just knew, you know, coming on the Sky Show, I had to win big, um, you know, to get decision here today from their champion. But Dan fought a good fight as well, and um, it's what it is. Listen, first of all, before we talk about anything here, right? I mean, you have to be commended for, you've been here for the last like half hour, 45 minutes doing media, talking to everyone, saying your piece. It's not an easy thing to do when you come off an, an immediate loss like that. Why is it important for you to come and speak to media on the back of a loss tonight? Well, as I say, man, don't be wrong, I'm a winner. I love to win and that, but I've always said, you know, um, whatever it is, um, you know, I'm always going to win win with my head up and take it with dignity and pride. and. If I, you know, lose in a good fight or whatever, then I'm gonna keep my head up and, you know, keep pushing and things like that. Like, if I was to be the kind of person who's gonna quit from anything or be a sore loser, or whatever, I would never reach this far or go any further where I gotta go. So, obviously, all I can do is look back on it, um, know where I could go better or do things better, and um, push on. You know what I mean? And dance for dance, trying obviously again, fight and make a better way for his, you know, his family and everything like that. Like I am. Um, but it was a close fight, I'd love to do it again, probably won't happen, but I know if I was coming down the sky, I had to win big in order to get the decision, man, but congratulations to him and his team, and what more can I say? I thought I'd done enough, I thought I was at boxing at times and that maybe mixed it up too much, but I was comfortable in, it, in there, I was comfortable being in the inside, you know what I mean, I was landing the good shots and that, but he come up a lot with his head as well, which is obviously caused my cotton things, and um, you know, that's why like I, I stayed there a bit more and that, but it's what it is, man. I can't, I can't cry over spilled milk, as I say. Was there any surprises from him in there tonight for you? With the headbutts, yeah. <laughs> nah, really playing. Um, you know, it's just, look, he's a strong fighter. He's a good fighter. Um, I know it was going to be a good fight. We, we both said it was going to be, you know, electric, and um, that's what we thought it probably was. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, it's shit to come on the end of the decision like this, but what can we say? <laughs> for it, I thought we were going to stop it there. But listen, you know, aside from the, the outcome in the results, you know, these are the fights that you want to be into. Yeah. You've spoken to me before. You want to be in these big fights. You want to be on these big platforms with a title on the line. Yeah, man. Bless, man. Mm. So, you know, when we look at, um, you know, that platform, that stage, that fight, entertaining the fans, you know, do we know where we go from here? I gotta sit down with myself and my team and see where we go. Um, obviously, I'm still got the WBC International, but I'd love to go. I'd love to have that again, man. I enjoyed it in there. It was a good fight. Um, you know, I'd love to go back again for real. Uh, obviously, I, I kind of ain't been in the ring for a bit, but at the same time, what can I say? I just gotta watch it back myself and then um, you know regroup again and go. This is part of boxing, man. People take L's. And uh, people take W's, but it's important for you whether you win or lose to learn from it and keep pushing forward. When you get to this stage, obviously, with every fight that you take, with every opponent that gets put in front of you, not that you have to be, um, you know, obviously not pick and choose and who you, but you have to be smart on who you take fights with. You have to be smart in the direction that you're going to go in your career, what makes sense for you, and all the rest. Is there a, a you know, do you kind of look at the career, you look at, at, at the kind of level that you're at? Is there ever a moment where you say, you know what, I'd love to be on like a small hall show where I could just take another fight in a couple of weeks or is this just part of the, the high end of the sports? Yeah, I'm, I'm good where I'm at, man. I think like I belong where I belong and um, I can keep pushing on. There's things to work on, of course, like a lot of fighters. I'm not, I'm not um, a fool, you know, I'm a harsh critic of myself as well. I know even today, maybe I sat in the pocket too long with him, you know what I mean? But like I said, it, they, I was catching, I was landing, I was doing my thing, but... I had to win big here today, man, in order to, you know, dethrone him. Um, I thought I'd done enough, a lot of people said, but it's what it is. Like I said, no point crying over things. Congratulations to him, and I'll move on with my career.
Shaq, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I genuinely mean that you have to be commended for like being here, speaking to all of us. It's not an easy thing to do, and I definitely appreciate it. So thank you so much. Is there any final words that you'd like to say? No, oh, good, man. Just thanks to all my family and friends coming. And um, we'll be back, man. Like, like I said, you know what I mean? Minor setback, major comebacks. Now we'll be back. This is boxing. People take losses or whatever, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm in boxing to push myself, not fight a load of fucking, sorry. A lot of the shitty fighters anyway, you know what I mean? I want to fight good fighters and I want to keep pushing on and, you know, it's what it is. I mean, the scores were ridiculous, the 117, 111. You know, losing a close fight, whatever, but I don't know, man. I have to watch it back. I have to watch it back. I thought, I thought I'd done enough, but it's what it is. Like we say, we go again and I do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. No problem. Shakan Peters for Fight Connect TV. Thank you. Thank you.